So after a ton of research for office chairs, I feel like everyone online is telling me to buy a chair that costs over a thousand dollars. So I thought about it and after thinking some more, I decided to see how bad a budget chair could be like this one from Staples or Union and Scale, which is a Staples brand. It was on sale for $179. Plus they sent me a couple of coupon codes, which pretty much paid for the three year warranty that covers wear and tear. So just over $180. $80 after taxes, so not too bad in my opinion. I also thought about getting the Staples hiking chair, which is pretty similar to this one, but I noticed right away that the Dexley seemed like a better option, especially when you compare the arm pads on the Dexley. They feel a little bit softer than the hiking, which I like because sometimes my elbows are digging into the armrest. There's not a lot of adjustment. You can adjust the armrest up and down, and you can slide them in and out a little bit when you're assembling the chair. For me, I feel like they could go in a little bit more, but probably is going to be personal preference on if you like your arms and close to you or not. Nice thing is they come up really high, about 33 and a quarter inches, if I remember correctly. Probably one of the few chairs that I don't have to put them all the way up when using them for my standing desk, which I feel is a little bit taller than most of the other desks that I've used. I did notice a couple small things when putting this chair together. There was a couple black marks on the parts that are white. Not really a huge deal there. But then I also noticed a pucker or a part of the front of the seat where it needs to be tucked in. Other than that, it feels like it was actually pretty good quality for the most part. Probably what I expected for a chair at this price. As far as the seat and the back comfort, they both actually felt pretty good when I was testing this out in the store. It's got good lumbar support and you can slide that little piece back there up and down. It definitely feels like more lumbar support than I'm used to. And as far as how deep the seat is, it feels like it fits me pretty good. When putting the chair together, everything seemed to go together fairly easily. I'm pretty sure most people could put this together in less than an hour. There's not a lot of pieces. As long as you put the right arm on the right side and face the underneath part facing towards the front, I don't think you can really mess it up. Everything is pretty straightforward and is even labeled with step-by-step -step instructions. The nice thing is this one has a headrest, which does come in handy if you're going to be gaming with this chair. As long as your monitor is not too low, I think some people could use it. Probably not made for anyone over six foot though, in my opinion, which I'm right at six foot. The adjustment under the seat is pretty easy as well, where you just push it in to lock the back from reclining, pull that out, and then you can lean back quite a bit. There's also a knob there in the center underneath if you want more tension when you're pushing the back of the chair back. Good thing is, it feels about right, right out of the box because trying to adjust it is probably one of the hardest things I've ever adjusted on a chair. I mean, you can barely turn this thing. And then of course, when lifting the lever underneath, it's gonna bring the seat up and down. I feel like it goes up to about 21 inches at the maximum height. And best part about this chair is when I first sat in it after the assembly process, my back cracked. So I was hoping I wouldn't have to go to the chiropractor as often. Good thing is it doesn't feel like I'm gonna bottom out when I'm sitting in this. It actually has a little bounce to it as well. It sort of gives you that suspended in the air feeling. But I did notice my legs underneath had some pressure and the lumbar support just feels like it's pushing my shoulders away from the back to where I would have to lean back in the chair even more than normal for my shoulders to even touch. So it definitely took some getting used to to use this chair, especially coming from my lazy boy leather chair. I feel like overall this chair is actually better quality than you would think after reading some reviews online and just listening to how people talk about this chair. It also doesn't seem to make much noise when just moving around in it, even though there's a lot of good stuff about this chair. After testing this out for a few days or so, I feel like there's just something about it that doesn't fit me. After a while, my legs start to hurt, almost like they're gonna go to sleep. My lower back has a different kind of pain due to the lumbar sticking out so far, which also kind Kind of forces you to lean back more than normal otherwise my shoulders aren't going to touch the back of the chair I was kind of surprised really because after testing this out in the store, it did feel pretty good just sitting there for a few minutes. I'm not sure if this is part of the break-in period for when you're switching to a mesh chair like this, but I'm probably gonna have to return this one since Staples only gives you about 14 days to return this, unfortunately. I think overall, this is a pretty good chair. The problem is it has to fit you just right. And with the lumbar support sticking out so far, the fact that you can't bring it back, I can see that being a problem for a 
lot of people, especially if you're gonna be using this every day for longer hours if you're working from home, as long as it fits you and you really like aggressive lumbar support, I think this chair might work for you. Unfortunately, it just doesn't work for me. So if you've made it this far into the video, you may wanna say thanks by subscribing and don't forget to give a thumbs up if this video was helpful. This is Brian from Fishbee Productions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.